Hey guys, I'm a design team and I'm going to be I'm bringing you a new tutorial on how to make a custom AVI and how to make it sick. So you're probably wondering why I've got Google Images and this is a picture I'm going to be using. You can use any image you want. So right click, copy image, go onto Photoshop, Control V, then Control T, resize it, make it bigger at the bottom now I'm going to move it across a bit to how I want it so what I'm going to do is click on this circle or like half circle or whatever black white then click that click um, hold control click on the bottom one control E right click clipping mask control J Drag it under the back one that I've got, I lowered the opacity on it, and it's black. So I'm going to do is make a new layer, make a paintbrush, I've got a green colour, just put it around this size, click. So now what? There's one of these which was good, let me just try and find it again. There we go, dark and it was. So I put was them around like the opacity around 75. It looks quite good. What I'm just going to do is rub out the bits I don't want it on. There we go. Looks a bit bad on those bits I rubbed it out. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is um, click on this um, by pull it all into a group. So Control J, Control E to merge it. What I'm going to be doing is going on to a magic bullet, bullet focal looks. Photo looks. So if you don't have that, you can keep your AVR like this. But it looks better if you have something like Magic Bullet looks or Topaz Labs or oil paint. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back when it's open. Hey guys, Magic Bullet Bullet Photo looks is now open. So what I'm going to be doing is making it good. So just um, it'll probably open like this with like the background and the sides. So just zoom in. Until you can see it as we um, move it around. So what I'm going to do is click onto subject, go onto the side and choose one of these. So first I'm going to do a three-way colour corrector. So seeing that I see the green, I might as well put like, all around this green. So yeah, it has made a bit of a difference if you can see. Might put them a bit further down. Yeah, there we go, that'll do. So now let's see what else we'll get. Um, let's get a chromatic aberration red flash minus one, blue slash yellow minus one. Just like gives it sort of like 3D set cool effect there. Right? Quantum matting, um, diffusion, colour, going to keep that as a light, um, diffusion I'm going to go to um, anamorphic flare, so I put colour, put it around a white, Going to lower the, the threshold. Now I'm going to bump it higher. Pull it around. Put zero point eight hundred on there. Lower the size. Put size around fifty. That up a bit more. Uh, keep it like that. So now put on the figment. So this darkens the edges and edge softness. Um, radius lower. That. Zoom out a bit. So I only want a little bit of it blurred. So once you've got something like that, you can 
do more stuff if you want, click OK. Then it'll go back into Photoshop. It only takes a little bit to load. One. There we go. So some pictures you might not want on the edge looking weird. So what you can do is um, grab them out. Actually, I wouldn't rock them out. What you can just do is like lower the opacity of it, so it still looks better, but it's not like there's a difference. I'm gonna control T and then make it a bit bigger, 110. Wait, I need to make a new layer and then do it. Control T, not T. So 110. 110. So lower. So lower that one. There we go. So if this tutorial did help you, please leave a like, comment, any more ideas you want. And subscribe. Peace out.